Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Dave. I'm a licensed podiatrist and I would like to thank you for watching my video on my Frugal Foot YouTube channel. If you enjoy these videos, please hit that subscribe button. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a homemade metatarsal pad. You can also buy metatarsal pads over the counter, even on Amazon, and sometimes they're actually um, impregnated, I'll say, or built into a um, arch support. But in case yours doesn't have that, here's how you can make one at home. Now, a metatarsal pad can be advantageous and helpful for, for people who suffer from Morton's neuromas, which is an inflamed nerve between the, um, the metatarsal heads or the knuckle bones of the foot, or for people that suffer from irritation of the joints such as capsulitis or any kind of soreness in this region here. Make certain that you have your diagnosis correct though before you go ahead and treat it because you don't want to have problems that, are, that need to be treated by a doctor um, firsthand. So let's get started. To do this, what we're going to need is an arch support, or you'll need the sock liner, the, the insert that comes inside of your shoe or sneaker. You're going to need a pair of, of uh, scissors. Any scissors will do. I like bandage scissors because they're sharp. You do not want to use scissors that have serrated edges. And you're going to need a roll of quarter inch adhesive felt. Now I have left links for the adhesive felt and the scissors below the video. So let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to make a pear shaped pad that's going to stick onto the top of our arch support. So I have a scrap piece of adhesive felt that I've already used before. Obviously this is what's left of the roll. So I'm going to make myself a straight edge. We need a straight edge to get started. There's a straight edge. And now what I'm going to do right from that straight edge is I'm going to cut out what's going to look like a, basically like a teardrop. There we go. And it looks like this. Now the size of it depends upon the size of your foot. You can judge this by basically looking at your foot. It should fit underneath your foot so that it sits right behind the second, third, and fourth metatarsal heads. The metatarsal heads are those bones, those like the ball of your foot. You know, the ball of your foot is the, the bone right before your big toe. Well, the other lesser balls, those are the metatarsal heads. Now, when you put this, you're gonna, you're gonna peel off the back of this and you're going to stick this on top of the arch support. This is, this is the important part. When you stick this onto the arch support, the metatarsal pad should not come in contact with the ball of the foot or those knuckle, the knuckles of your forefoot. It should sit in the meaty section right before the knuckle bones so that when you put weight down, you're going to roll over those knuckle bones. You're going to put more of the weight on the metatarsal pad and less of the weight on the irritated area, which is up here. That's key. If you put it too far forward, well, it's not going to do you any good because now you're going to be standing on this. You might as well just stand on the floor. Go ahead and peel off the adhesive backing and it's got to fit right about there. Okay, so the first metatarsal is on this side, the fifth metatarsal is on that side, four, three, and two are here, the knuckle bones are right here, and now when the individual stands on this, they will roll, they're going to kind of miss the metatarsal heads, they'll, they'll roll forward, and there's much less pressure put down on the floor by those metatarsal heads and and that re, that should reduce the inflammation and the idea is that you should feel better by taking pressure off of that area. So if you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Dave and I'll see you on the next video.